Uh, I'm Rob Martins and I'm a plant geneticist at Cold Spring Harbor Lab. We work on a number of uh, aspects of plant biology here. Probably my biggest interest is in something called epigenetics. So genetics is the study of genes and of DNA and the heritability of that. Epigenetics is really what's written on top of the DNA and how that impacts uh, especially plant breeding uh, and plant yields. And we've been working with uh, transposable elements, sometimes called jumping genes, these first discovered by Barbara McClintock working here in the 1940s. Uh, and these uh, transposable elements are really the, the sort of classical epigenetic material of, of plant genomes. Uh, very recently we've uh, discovered that the same mechanism that controls transposable elements also controls the, the means of sexual reproduction in plants, so that plants can now clonally reproduce themselves uh, without uh, going through meiosis, in other words, asexually. This is extremely important for plant breeding uh, because it means that we can propagate hybrids. Uh, for example, uh, uh, farmers in, in, in developing countries can now save their seed or could potentially save their seed uh, and be able to retain the hybrid vigor that's so important for a successful plant breeding. Also recently we've actually started working with another clonal plant that you might be very familiar with. This is common duckweed uh, found growing on, on ponds. Uh, common duckweed actually has the highest biomass potential of any plant in the planet. It's something like 30 times that of corn in terms of how much uh, starch it can produce in, in a day. And so it's extremely uh, high potential as a biofuel. And so we've been sponsored by the Department of Energy to, to look into using duckweed as a, as a potential biofuel. Uh, biofuels, of course, are going to become more and more impo important uh, in, in, in the current uh, energy climate for all sorts of reasons that I really don't need to explain. A third very important area that many of us in the plant group are working on uh, relates to a, a major corporate sponsorship that we have from DuPont Pioneer, which is uh, one of the largest, perhaps the largest seed company in the world. Uh, we have been working with them in a number of projects of mutual interest, uh, how to control gene expression, genes that uh, affect yield, uh, and in fact epigenetics as well. Uh, this has been an extremely uh, profitable uh, collaboration for everybody and, and it's uh, extremely uh, important and beneficial for us to be able to take our discoveries and translate them into something that really uh, has, has commercial and, and agricultural value. Mm -hmm.